over the weekend, there's a lot of South Carolina quarterback news, and I want to kind of dive into the details briefly, but then kind of look at what to expect moving forward. So with, with Luke Doty getting injured, again, I don't know how serious it is, but it doesn't appear to be that serious. Uh, it looks like quarterback Jason Brown, the trans transfer from San Francis, is getting first-team reps along with Colton Gaithier. But I want to take a look at Jason Brown, and if he does have to play, and if he is the guy week one, I want to look at what he brings to the table and what to expect uh, if Jason Brown is the guy. And we've done videos before on this competition before doing he was named the starting guy, and we looked at Jason Brown uh, before and what he brings to the table. So I want to take a, a, a bit more deeper dive to see what South Carolina fans can expect from Jason Brown. But before we dive into the content of the video, I just want to encourage you to consider subscribing to the YouTube channel if you like any quarterback-related breakdowns or quarterback film, quarterback content. As long as it's related to the quarterback position, it's fair game here. So let's look at a quick article kind of talking about Luke Doty's uh, update and kind of his status because I think it's it's encouraging that it, it's not nearly as serious as South Carolina fans thought and that he should be back relatively soon so I know a lot of people or South Carolina fans have watched the, the, the Shane the coach Beamer press conference but I'll kind of just reiterate real quick uh, he says right now it's just it's a spray in the foot thank god it's not as serious as we thought he's questionable for the first game right now it's not season ending Luke is in great spirits he was out here today at the scrimmage and left to get rehab work done to accelerate the process we will about reevaluate in a couple weeks I'm optimistic he'll, he'll be able to play in the first game if not it will be shortly after uh, then he goes on and they talk about uh, Be Beamer said that redshirt senior Jason Brown received first team reps but so did Colton Gaithier as well and redshirt sophomore Connor Jordan Beamer continued to say former quarterback and current wide receiver Joyner even has a package to play some quarterback so I, I think and then the, the article goes on to say uh, you know it goes to that doom and gloom qu quote and uh, this it goes on to say that you know, the injury is not as serious as we thought. So I'll link that article below. Again, I don't want to really talk about the injury, so to speak, because it seems to be good, and I'll let other people, people report about that. But I want to talk about Jason Brown and what he brings to the table. So we're going to watch some film from St. Francis, and we're going to look at the details and, and kind of uh, go into some, some of the X's and O's of what makes him a good quarterback because his ability to throw is impressive. So the few things we're going to watch is, Yes, his arm strength, his ability to push it downfield, but it's his accuracy to push it downfield that is the most impressive thing about him and his ability to throw guys open. So we're going to see in several plays, guys are actually covered, but Brown's ability to throw the ball to space, being a very mature thrower, throws his guys open and allows the receivers to make plays and make catches. So he throws a very catchable ball, he throws his guys open, and he has the arm strength as well. Another part of his game is his footwork within the pocket that leads to mobility. So he's not going to uh, you know, outrun a, a SEC DB, but he can maneuver in the pocket, buy time, and throw on the run as well. So uh, look for those things in film and what South Carolina fans can expect if he's a quarterback. So one, push the ball downfield by doing it accurately, and his ability to maneuver within the pocket and throw on the run, and his ability to throw guys open are kind of the big takeaways I saw, at least just from his highlights, but those are the takeaways that I saw watching this film. Let's go ahead and dive into the film. I'll catch you on the back end. Here's a deep ball by Brown, showing plenty of arm strength here and uh, something that South Carolina will be able to utilize and stretch and push the ball downfield. So let's rewind it real quick here because it's a long throw. Shows his arm strength, right? So throws from about the, we'll say the 16 or so. So that's about a solid, what? That's 35. That's over 50 yards, plus yards in the air. So just good arm strength by Brown to push it downfield. Another deep ball by Brown here. We're going to see him hit the receiver. Right there, this is a slot receiver running a seam route. Hits his guy in stride. Again, yes, arm strength, impressive, uh, but it's the accuracy to push it downfield. Let's watch it one more time. In the pocket. So throwing from about the 10-yard line, right? Again, this is his guy he's hitting, and so good read by Brown, and anyone on the channel has heard us say, hey, the receiver's even, he's leaving. That's when the ball's supposed to be coming out. That's when the ball comes out. Again, over 50 yards in the air, hits his guy in stride, leads to a touchdown. Arm strength, yes. Accuracy downfield, yes. So here's a great example of what it looks like to truly throw your guy open here. We'll, we'll watch it once and kind of break it down. Because it's the guy is covered, and he Brown literally throws his guy open. So this is like a, you could use this as, as a kind of picture perfect. What's the definition of throwing your guy open? What's this type of play here? So we're going to see Brown is throwing from the left hash to the right side of this, on the field on this deep out put some uh, nice touch on on this ball which when you throw your guy open most of the time you're going to throw a two ball which is in between that kind of uh, rocket throw and, and bomb it's deep out good coverage here watch this pretty good coverage has to throw the ball over kind of to this green area here he does great catch but hell of a job throwing his guy open so here's a great movement in the pocket here from brown we'll see him step up Going to kind of maneuver this way, keeps his eyes downfield, and throws a good, accurate ball on a crossing route and takes a hit. So look at there. 
taking a hit again. So just like some other plays, good job in the pocket, eyes downfield, takes the hit and delivers an accurate ball, pushing it downfield, which leads to a big play. I'm not sure if he scores or not. He does, but good job by Braun in the pocket, taking a hit. So here are back-to-back -back plays that, sh one, shows his accuracy again, just to reiterate, pushing the ball downfield, and two, uh, shows his ability to move out of the pocket and throw on the run. Watch him throw his guy open here at the top of the screen. It's great coverage. Throw his guy, throws his guy open, accurate ball downfield. Let's watch it before. So hang on, if I can go back just a, one more second here. So before the snap of the ball, we got press man coverage here. Brown sees the mismatch. So again, it's not just that he's accurate. It's, it's, it's why the ball is being thrown here. One up top safety. Good, accurate accurate ball downfield. Throwing his guy open where only his guy can catch it. Then watch his ability to move in the pocket. Going to come out here. Eyes remain downfield. Throws a strike on the run or outside the pocket. Uh, good job throwing on the run. Boom. Good ball. Leads to a big play there. One of my favorite plays from Brown here. An escape pressure. We saw we've seen several of these plays before in this tape. Push the ball 50 plus down, 50 plus yards downfield. Watch it one more time. Roll out here again. Eyes remain downfield. Pressure coming in his face. Briefly is able to set up. Throw on the run. Again, that's 50 plus yards downfield. Good job there. So here are two plays back to back to demonstrate arm strength and the ability to push the ball downfield, but do it accurately, right? So he's in the pocket, he's going to hit a crossing route here, able to keep hitting his guy in stride. So again, we'll watch him from the pocket, throws from that left hash to the right side of the field, hits his guy in stride. Good ball for a touchdown. This next play, you're going to see his ability to throw kind of from an off-platform position, shows plenty of arm strength, off-platform, can't step into it. Good ball downfield, again, from the pocket. Pressure in the face, can't step into it. That's 40, what, 5 to 50 yards in the air. Accurate throw for a touchdown. So this play here shows a lot of Brown's traits in, in, in one play. We're going to see mobility to get the pocket and then throwing his receiver open. Comes in, throws his guy open there. Good play, good mobility to get out there and throw on the run. Let's go ahead and rewind it just a hair, though. So we see good ability here, right? Spins at the last second. Stays calm, and then throws his guy open. So right now he's technically covers only a little bit of space to actually you know, put the ball. And Brown does a good job doing it on the run and throwing it high so his receiver can go get it. Just pretty good coverage. Throws his guy open. Look, no room for error. So great ball there by Brown. Throws his guy open, accurate, and on the run there. Good overall play by Brown. But again, shows a lot of his ability in one play. So again, we don't even know if Brown will start week one. Doty could be the week one starter. Even if Doty doesn't start week one, we don't even know if Brown will be the guy. But I just wanted to kind of dive into some film and look at what you can expect from Jason Brown if he is the guy or if he does have to play. A uh, very good throw of the football. Again, throws his guys open, can push it downfield and do it accurately, and can throw on the run. But I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Jason Brown? Can, you, can South Carolina win with him? Yes, no. Let me know in the comments below. I think he's a good quarterback. Uh, but we'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video.